What's up guys, it's Jack here, uh, back with another video, same day, uh, just a couple of hours later. So, um, since I last spoke to you guys, I've built the houses, and I've decorated only one of them. Um, there's a decorated one, and the rest are here. So, they're a bit bland right now, but they all look completely different, pretty much, or kind of completely different by the end. Um, but if we go to the decorated one, this is kind of like the example house I built this. And it's been about 30 40 minutes just this one house, which it's gonna take quite a while for all of them. Uh, but I was still finding out how these work and uh, how you might have built them. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour here. So, there's gonna be a path here. I haven't done this because I can be bothered. But um, this is basically the front entrance. So, we got this uh, little doorway here. I have sort of done the inside. I'm not, I'm gonna leave the inside because what I want for the houses is I want it to be sort of. Um, sort of empty uh, except for the exterior and then people can buy the houses using the storage or whatever and they can fill them with chests or whatever they just want uh, so I've added windows and whatnot so you've got this in here got this room here there should be another room right here which I'm going to quickly open up because I haven't done that yet there you go there's another room just do that for now I guess because the, the roof I guess looks a bit weird oh I guess we could just change that beautiful there we go so we got this uh, we've got this little lookout here and a lookout. We've got this one right here. And there's actually a very good reason I think this may be the best house, like, just property wise. So then, I mean, you could have a kitchen here. They're quite spacious, to be honest, on the inside. Um, and then you've got out here, this one's got like a little porch, a little um, chimney here. And you've got this little overhang here, just for some shade, I guess. And for some um, rain protection, I don't know. Uh, but then you've got a little campfire here next to the ocean river. So you can um yeah, you can just look at the river, look at the river that go down that way. You can do really what you want there, you can just sort of stand there, you can go for a swim, that don't really matter. I mean if you're in the land it's it's fair enough I guess. Uh, if we move over to the second floor, however, um you can see it gets more a bit more open here. Uh, we've got our first balcony actually out this way, it's more of a terrace this. Um it's surrounded by flowers each side because I thought it looked nice and some uh, shrubbery. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you got that. You've got your um, this right. <laughs> you got that um, little bit there. You can sort. Of, you could add a chair if you want. I mean, I'm not going to right now. I don't need to do that just yet. Um, and because I just completely forgot. But either way. Um, now I might do something else that I've done over here, like a little third third story. I might do one over here as well, just because it, it does feel a bit empty over on this side. Maybe add a, and I, I could just leave it and see what the players want to do. I guess that that doesn't seem like the worst idea. I am gonna quickly just do this. I think. What in better? I've, I've got an idea. I'll do that in a minute though. Um, or I could just speed do it. Uh, then you've got your second balcony, which is really the reason I think it might be the best house location wise. You could argue it could be one of them, but with this house specifically, you've just got such a good view of the marketplace, the inn, and better yet, if we change the time to sunrise, we, we sunset, have a little walk around your house for a bit, maybe you come look out this window here to look at another house, you've got little foot windows there, ah, but then uh, come in and look at the sunset. There'll probably be somebody building over there on some land, somebody over there, because that's where the countries will be. Uh, but yeah, you can look at the river. The river's pretty big, actually. I had to manually build the river. It's kind of annoying. I had a friend build me that. Well, I taught him how, kind of, but yeah, it's a long story. Um, but yeah, you can come and look at the sunset. We'll look at a bit more on the exterior. Every house is really just a rectangle box, but then... I add stuff like this bit extends out, this bit extends out a bit, this bit extends out quite a lot. It was just kind of a lot of extending, a lot of decorating. This only extends by one block. You've got a balcony here, roof gets decorated a bit more. As you can see, this one's really plain. Uh, there's like multiple different roofs, like the roof there, you've got a little overhang, another roof here, and another roof here. Just so many ways to decorate it. Um, and I'm going to sort of do it with this one as well. So maybe. The entrance could be like here on this one, whereas this one is sort of like closer to us. I don't know, I thought it looked nice, and I still need to decorate a little bit here, because uh, I just don't want any bit to be empty, really. Uh, but yeah, 
if you guys do like this model house then um, please tell me in the comments you don't need to but um, yeah, it's always appreciated if you guys any have any build ideas while I'm currently building this just put them down below and I'll try my best to build them and then upload a tutorial on them as detailed as I can um, but if not hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time peace